This video is the second in a series of three videos looking at how you set up and create a mesh network using Google Wi-Fi. In the previous video, we examined a single Google Wi-Fi node and then connected it to a VDSL modem using the configuration you can see here. In this video, we will be taking a look at how you configure the node so that it can connect to the internet and we will be creating a wireless 802.11 network However, before we start, I should point out that the only way to configure and administer Google Wi-Fi is via the Google Wi-Fi app. You can find this app at the App Store for iOS or in the Google Play Store for Android. For this video, we used a Chromebook that supports Android apps. However, if you are using iOS with this app, you will also need to create a Google account before you can configure your Wi-Fi nodes. Security seems to be the main reason why Google Wi-Fi does not allow you to configure the Wi-Fi nodes via a web browser. As we have seen recently, some of the most popular routers have become vulnerable to hacks through their browser configuration interfaces. So with these points in mind, let's start up the Google Wi-Fi app. Before you can begin setting up your Google Wi-Fi node, you have to agree to the Terms of Service, the Privacy Policy and the Privacy Settings. Google states that they will not monitor the sites that you visit or look at the data that is travelling through your wireless network, but they do capture data to help them improve your Google Wi-Fi's performance. Once we have selected Get Started, the app will look for the Google Wi-Fi node and notify us once it's been found. We will now need to establish a secure connection to the node using either the QR code or setup code, both of which are printed on the underside of the node. For this demonstration, we will be using the setup code, but if you are setting up your Google Wi-Fi using your mobile phone, using the QR code is much easier. As you can see here, it is a simple case of entering the nine character setup code into the field provided. After entering the code, select confirm. The app will now attempt to connect to the node so that you can configure it. When the internet service settings fields are displayed, we can attempt to connect the node to the internet. We can either use PPPoE, a static IP address, or DHCP. For our configuration, we will be using a point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet, PPPoE, as this node is directly connected to our VDLC modem. Next, we need to enter the account name that our internet service provider has provided us with. Then we need to enter the password used by the modem to connect to the internet. We can now select connect to see if the node can establish a connection to the internet via our VDLC modem. If we are successful, we're asked to name our Wi-Fi node. Remember Google Wi-Fi uses multiple nodes to create a wireless mesh that covers your home. But in order to do this, you will have to add additional nodes to your network. So it's important to name this node so that it can be easily identified when you add other nodes to your wireless network. As this node will be located in the family room, I've selected this option as its name, but you can use custom names that are not on this list if you choose. When we select next, we're asked to create a wireless access point name for our mesh network. I'm going to type my doodad's Wi-Fi. Next, we need to set a Wi-Fi password. Make sure that the password is at least eight characters long using a combination of upper and lowercase letters, including numbers and characters. Once you have chosen a password, select Create. Your Google Wi-Fi node will now be configured with the Wi-Fi settings you have chosen. This will create a wireless access point. Once the app has finished finalizing your wireless access point, you'll be presented with the option to add additional wireless nodes to your network. 
At this stage, it is better to make sure that the node you have just configured is running correctly and that all of your wireless devices are able to connect to it. We will be looking at adding additional Wi-Fi nodes in the next video in this series. Let's choose None All Done and then select Next. We are now shown a summary that confirms the name and password for the wireless access point and the name that we have assigned to the node we've just configured. Selecting Next will inform you that Google Wi-Fi is ready. When we select Explore, the Google Wi-Fi app will start in its default state. You will see an Options panel on the left side of the screen, overlaying a series of information cards relating to your new wireless network. Within the app, there are three tabs. The information tab we are currently on, a tab showing you a network diagram that includes information about the status of the network, the number of devices connected to the network, the wireless access point, and the connection to the internet. The final tab shows you shortcuts to Google's Wi-Fi features, and also to Google Wi-Fi settings. Let's test the speed of this wireless network. If we select Network Check from within the Shortcut section, then Test Internet, the app will test the download and upload speeds of our connection. The results from this test will confirm if the connection is fast enough to stream SD, HD or 4K video. If the results from the test are consistent with what we expect our broadband speeds to be, we can begin thinking about the setup and positioning of the remaining nodes. So to recap, we've taken a look at the Google Wi-Fi app, we've set up and configured a single node, and established a wireless access point. So in the next video, we'll be taking a look at the setup and positioning of additional nodes to create a mesh network.